Hey there folks, my name is Dazerin and welcome back to Undertale. Alright, let's take a look at the inn, shall we? Hi! Oh look, the little doggy here. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel, nice. One night is 80 G. Gil. How much do I even have? I don't even know. Well, feel free to come back anytime. How much do I have? 107? Sure. Be sure to bundle up. Hey! Try to sleep over here! Come on! Oh! Are you... Yawn singing? Uh, hiya! You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay over one night. Oh! And my health is recovered. Awesome! That's cool. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Whoa! There's like a whole town here. I did not realize this was actually like a whole town. Hi! That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What? What, she has a mouse? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable! Dee okay. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating his tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's your tradition to put thing presents underneath a decorated tree. Okay. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. That makes about as much sense as politics. hey -o! Okay. Hey, you guys. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will... Oh. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. You look familiar. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Oh, wait. I know you, too. Okay. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Fair enough. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Who's Grilbs? Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the er the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their slip onto their butts. The jukebox is broken. Well, then what's the music playing? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. Same people. Help! I want new drinks and... Hot guys! Well, this has been a wonderful and fun time, but I think I'm going to head out now. Alright. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Right, let's go take a look at the rest of the town here. Oh, a library! Or no, a library. Okay. 
Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> Good, okay. I was worried. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That would be an awesome newspaper. Actually, I think those are just, like, kids' books. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. That's true. Person comes in and picks up a book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it onto that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh. Am I at the page minimum yet? I kind of, I, I'm kind of sick of writing this. Okay. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part Four. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> I, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see here. Is that just a bunch of mail? Overflowing, okay. Papaya. It's empty, damn. Is this Papyrus home? locked. Is that Papyrus' home? It's locked from the inside. I feel like that's Papyrus and San's home. It's very quiet. What? Oh, hey, Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. <laughs> the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. Those feel these feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you. Lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong drink. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. The papyrus blocks the way. Holy crap. What? The flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeem. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later. Oh, okay. First date. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you! <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. There's no need to lie to yourself. 
Your barbs hide a hidden affection. Your emotional cactus. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's say later! Okay, fine. Pyrus, 8 attack, 2 defense. He likes to say, Nye -he -he. Nye -he -he. <laughs> So I was talking to somebody about the beginning of this game, and apparently... Let's see. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. You're blue now. Pyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later. Okay, so now the real thing. Now it really starts. Okay. Too busy fighting to accept your insult. I'm not thinking about that date thing. Okay, so... Oh! Ah! Okay, there we go, there we go. Hold up longer to jump Papyrus! Jeez! Well, yeah, I, I get that, Papyrus. I don't... I don't want to fight you, Papyrus! Realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> No! I don't... Really? Do I actually have to fight you? <laughs> I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Preparing a bone attack. I don't know. Head of the Royal Guard! Ah! Damn it. What do I do? Fifteen HP. Unparalleled Spigator! Ah, damn it. Alright. Rattling his bones. Undyne will be really proud of me. Okie dokie then. What am I supposed to do about that? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Okay, so apparently I have to do more than just... Oh, wait! I think I know what I need. I can move left and right, duh. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Alright, fine, let's do this. I don't have lots of admirers, but... Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, shit. Papyrus is preparing a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. You equip the ribbon. Damn it. Oh, great, now they're moving. Smells like bones. Yet. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, good. Huh. 
And dating might be kind of hard. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. I'm not gonna make it. After you've captured it, sent away. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> Who cares? Give up. Hey. Okay. There we go. And huh. there we go. Give up or face my special attack. Okay, cool. Whoop. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, maybe I can do something, I don't know. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Yeah. Whoop. There we go. And whoop. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Whoop. Damn it. Okay, I'm down to one health. I'm not gonna make it. This is your last chance before my special attack. Oh. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I was supposed to lose that. All right. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Yeah, definitely yours, Papyrus. It's a squeaky chew toy. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's too small to sleep on. All right, well, guess I'll just go. Oh, actually, let me just go through here. And... There we go. And we'll just save right back where we started. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this episode. That was weird. I don't... Okay. I'm guessing I could beat him, but anyway. That's gonna do it for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. You guys have made this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.